Hey everybody, it's Leah Gordon and Wendy Smolinski. How are you? I wanted to do, uh, while I'm in Pittsburgh visiting with Wendy, I wanted to do a quick Q&A with her. She is our newest beauty guide. She already has her kit in. We had a fantastic day together. She is absolutely hilarious. Hey, Jason. Um, can Hi, you, Jason. Can you hear me? I just want to make sure you can hear me okay. If you cannot hear me, leave a comment. Um, so, we had a really fun night. We drove around Pittsburgh today. It was fantastic. And I want to tell y'all, everywhere I went, I said, hey, I'm not from here. <laughs> and Wendy said, well, you don't even have to say that because listen to your accent. So I stopped saying that. Thanks, Jason. Um, so I, I think everybody knows that I'm not from Pennsylvania, but I am going to ask Wendy a few questions as our newest guide and y'all can hear what she thinks about it. Okay. So first of all, uh, she just got her kit in. What is your favorite part of the starter kit? Hey, Scott. Um, my favorite part is the, uh, that there's a variety of products, skin care and cosmetics. My favorite pieces that I got were the bronzer, which is ridiculous. Um, it's just real. it goes on really nice and, and it looks great. And the Perfect Mascara, which is super buildable and um, it doesn't get clumpy or gross. And the um, perfect eyeliner pen. Um, I love that too. I mean, obviously, I use the eyeliner. Um, and um, I did. I mean, I liked everything. So mm -hmm. let's just be honest. She liked the kit. The kit. You get a really good deal this month. Oh, and I like this. And I like this. The Ricky Cutie because I was using um, a eyeshadow case mirror that's like about that big as my primary makeup mirror so now that I have this professional makeup mirror with the three levels of light and a stand and everything I'm like I'm pretty high tech now I'm feeling pretty <laughs> good about myself yes and she takes great uh, pictures I posted a picture of her with it earlier okay so you can see what she likes about the kit and secondly Wendy and I have been friends for about a year and she, over a year. Over a year. Well, yeah, well over a year now. I actually, actually asked her if she wanted to be best friends like a year ago yesterday. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she posted something <laughs> cool, and I was like, hey, you want to be best friends? And look at us now. Um, <laughs> so I thought that was cool. But when did you first think about joining Lime Life? Well, Leah asked me about a year ago, and I've been thinking about it for almost a year. So, um, and I shouldn't have waited. Oh, okay. That was going to be my, but well, I'm going to ask her to tell you. So she, I, and I do, I ask my friends, I ask people that I think would be good at this. I ask people I like, I really ask people that I like if they want to do this with me because I love to travel. Um, and obviously that's why I'm here a week after she signed up, but what would you tell people now who want to do it, but they're waiting? Just don't wait because... Uh, the investment's pretty small, and the dividends are huge. And especially if you've done direct sales before, um, the commissions are not comparable to other companies. I mean, it's great. Um, and the free product and all kinds of other things. The training's ridiculous. And um, I've done it before. So, coming from me, I mean, I'm being honest here. I And the support I've already gotten is, is crazy. And um, when you sign up for something a, a new um you know kind of business or whatever um a lot of people are like you have to have a team immediately you have to ha you know do all these things um yes you commit yourself to trying to meet certain goals but you get to choose your goals someone isn't telling you what your goals should be and that was important to me because before I never could meet some of the high expectations that they had for me um and this one I have my own expectations and my own goals and um you know it, it's up to me whether I want to meet them or not and nobody's giving me you know constant pressure um to do it so I love that about it oh, that makes me so happy <laughs> and I didn't know she was going to say that but I will tell you sometimes in direct sales people give you a goal because they want to meet their goal like if I were to tell uh, Wendy, okay, you've got to sell $5,000 and recruit 10 people, sure, that's going to be good for her, 
it, her money wise, but is it realistic for her to do that right now? No. And also, would it benefit me? Heck yeah, it would. It would really benefit me. But I want to help her grow at her own pace and set reasonable goals, so she doesn't feel like a failure. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. So okay, we're getting ready to head out. I just wanted to do a quick video. Thanks for watching. See ya. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Bye. See y'all later.